Hello guys, today I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the project we were all working on on our after our shallow dive completed. It is a video videos website where you can watch videos, share videos and do more kind of stuff on on it. What is our project? Our project is a basically a video app similar to like YouTube, but there are many more things that in our app have provided like you can watch your videos, you can update your accounts and lots of many stops. Why did we choose to work on this? Actually, it was a nice idea to, to make something which is which will be more challenging to us and actually making a similar type of website like YouTube where you have to deal with a lot of stuffs. You really gain a lot of knowledge how the thing works on the, if you think, if you ever wondered how the YouTube app work, how they keep it running. So that's what the curiosity was to explore the things, how things are being managed on the end side. So we choose this project project basically uh, the name of our project is webtube just like youtube and webtube the technology we have used in our project is mostly for database we have used mongodb for front end we have used html css bootstrap and for back end purpose we have used node express jquery And for deploying it, we have used Heroku to deploy it on server. And to develop our code, we have used tool like Visual Studio Code. There are many tools you can go for, but we have used Visual Studio because it is more reliable and more easy to work on it. So let's begin with our website. Let me show you what we have created. This is our uh, basically a login page for if you want to access our site, then you have you have to first create your account. And whenever you open WebTube app, by default this page gonna appear on, on the first visit where you have to create your account. If you have already created your account, you can just directly sign in from that account. So let me show you how to sign up. Here is our sign up form where you have to choose, where you have to fill the given details just like this. You have to choose your gender, the username, the email you have to give. Obviously, you can give an email. Password of your choice. We have put many validation in our form so that if any field is left blank, it will show you a lot and you can't sign up. We have every field is mandatory to be filled in. I can demonstrate that. Let me first create an account. Here it is. And I have successfully created my account. I will log in with the credential I have used over there. So basically, this is our home page of our web to web, as you can see. You can see the layout of our page. We have used, you can see our three buttons over here. Here is your profile icon. 
and the most interesting part we have not uh, done any fancy part over here for your profile but if you provide during sign up time if you provide uh, gender as male then you will, when you will sign up with your given credential if you are a male then the male pig will appear if you are female then the female png will appear over here as you can see we have created two nav bars here is the sign out page where you can sign out from over here and this is the logo of our site this is the search bar and this is the home page where the trending videos can, trending videos are being shown and we have set a limit of, on this page of around maximum 50 videos so on our home page max 50 videos is being shown so for filter purpose we have done that so here is the home page as you go on on trending here it will show you the trending videos trending videos the videos which are trending over youtube uh, you guys might be thinking how we have created this how it's showing this trending so there is a youtube api this all is coming from that api we are just fetching through the youtube api and displaying on our sites so whatever you see over here is from youtube this is not created by us just only database we have created for the user and login that's it so whatever trending or whatever trend is going on it's been on the youtube api which which we have specified in our code so that that part should be displayed over here so let's move on here is the movie part here the movie part will be displayed to you you can see all the movies over here and actually some someone will be thinking that we have just provided a thumbnail and given the layout does this video space yes this video space and you can do more things i can i will show you but first let's see all the functionality here is the search bar you can search over here anything you want and you will get the desired result as you can see iphone or you can provide any other stuff like and here is the result Ronaldo when you click on your profile icon you will be redirected to your profile page where you can see like videos my playlist watch later and favorite and you can see down here your profile where it will show you number of likes you have given on a video and number of videos you have added to your collections so here I have never I haven't had anything yet, so it's new. Let's see what if I add something, and most probably I will show you that all videos over here play. You can play it, it's not a just a thumbnail part or layout we are created. As you can see, there are videos. When you click on a video, it will open a player to play and decide it will give you the suggestion regarding that video and you can see here the description you can comment over here anything you like about the video there is a like button where you can press like of oh, i've just given a like to this video and i will just add a comment nice nice trailer so as you can see as you have commented you here the whatever you comment it will be shown over here so it's really cool now if you want to play a video you can play over here and actually it's play it's not just the thumbnail of your user layout so let's stop this let's focus on what we are doing so yes we have seen in the profile that uh, there are 
like videos, watch later part, and many more collection we have added to our profile. So how to add your, how to add that, how to add a specific video in that collection, in your collection. So by basically clicking on this, click on this, the video will be now displayed in your my playlist. As you can see, my playlist, like videos, you can see you have liked one video. It is my playlist. If you add, go and watch later and favorite, it's still empty. You can add from there. That's the most interesting part. You can remove from here. As you can like, you can update your choice as it's obvious. This, the craze for something is for some days only. After some point of time, we just get bored of and we want to update our collection. So there's a remove from list option given for you so that basically you can remove and update your collections as your choice. So here is the, I've showed you, see the, here you can see number of likes you have given. I've given one like only. Number of videos in your collection is one because there is only one video in your collection. So it's showing one. So this is our app we have created. There were a lot of issues faced while creating this site. The, the first difficulty was to fetch the videos from API and to display in a sort of manner. It was a tedious task. It wasn't easy. As you can see, a lot of videos are there you have and you have to display it in a manner by fetching it from a youtube from my api it's not a it's not an easy job then where there was many more difficulties we have faced issues like for our sign up part the validation part as you have for, for security you have to be sure that everything is built correctly or as anyone can just put random thing and can easily sign up for your page and use or do any kind of stuff so validation was the most important part that was the main thing over and there are many things to be improved which can be improved in our sites like as you can see in a profile it is not that interactive till now not more dynamic as you can compare to youtube or any other video platforms as you can see obviously a user want to update his profile want to do some kind of modification like numbers etc so that thing can be done for future developments, can be added in your future development where a user can upload his profile page, changes user ID, user email, changes data according to his wants. And we can add more, much more security so that we can create a safe environment that a user can safely use our site. So these are the room where we can improve our site and there are lots of stuff which can be improved the layout, the way it looks, the UI. It can be more user friendly. We will try to create the UI which will be more user friendly and which will be more accessible to the user that he can easily use at our site. It will be a lot easier for him to use our site. And many more stuff. If you see, if you want to share your videos, you have, or you have to do some, you have to upload your video. You have to on our channel. You can do also that is the thing we can where we can improve our sites. And there are many more things that we improve. So basically, this is our website we have created. So. 
and the most part the sign out page the sign out thing if you sign out from over here then you can't log in so let's sign out and you will be directed to the login page you can reset your password from over here but as always said we is this is our first project and there are a lot of things to be improved so that's it thank you